Saints Nation, welcome back to week two of the CA CEA. Tonight we have Saints Gaming matching up against New Jersey Institute of Technology. Broadcasting this matchup tonight is myself once again, Colin Seymour Moore. And joining me is my co-caster, Brayden Hyper Kehoe. Ba Brayden, how are you today? I'm doing amazing. How about you? I am doing fantastic, especially after watching Saints Gaming, the Rainbow Team last week, yes. get a nice 2-0 win over... <laughs> Was it uh, Rutgers? Rutgers, yeah, yeah, Rutgers University, and that, it was actually really good considering it's a rookie uh, rookie lineup except except for uh, Rapid and Imagine. Yeah, so the two veterans on the team. Yeah, rookie uh, rookie. Sorry, the rookies stepped up to play. I um I can't remember. There's there's one who just like shined out of all the all three of the new the new recruits. But once I, mean, I get into play, I'll, I'll I'll remember who it was. But yeah, so tonight we got Saints going up against New Jersey Institute of Technology, and first map's going to be Border. Do you have any uh, any input on that one? You know, Border is one of those games that you need to be in it to win it. You need to get your frags. You need to be able to, you know, click your heads. Yeah. And it's not necessarily all about strategy. As This game is, you know, strat heavy, but Border is one of those maps that you are able to win it out on frags. So, you know, if, if our if our Saints can hit their hit their shots, they'll, they'll be able to pull this one out. And if New Jersey hits their shots, they can pull it out. So it can go either way. Yeah, and um, I'm pretty sure uh, Saints played Border last week, right? Yes. Uh, they, uh, it was their second map, and they won it seven to three, or yep. it was seven three seven two. It was one of those one of those score lines. They were completely dominant on that basis. And we're just waiting to see if the uh, the players are getting into lobby, how long we, do we have on that. So, yeah, all the players are just getting ready into the lobby. But the second map is going to be Clubhouse. And uh, Saints will be attacking first on that one. So what are we going to look out for on that? Yeah, Clubhouse, you know, you're probably going to see the meta bands of Thatcher, maybe Thermite ban, uh, maybe some more comfort bands. But um, it's, it, it's going to be a... Very strat heavy game. You're gonna see probably a lot of montane pushes through some some spots like garage and dirt, and um, you know just a lot of split pushes. I guess you can say to kind of collapse on the on the on the other team and make them feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, clubhouse is actually one of my favorite matches to play. So I'd be uh, I can't wait for that that second map, and I I, I kind of want to go over because we went over it last week, and I really like to uh, to hear. The predictions that you have. What are, what are your predictions for game one? You know, game one is going to be really, really close. I feel like it's going to go, uh, I want to say, I actually want to say 6-6. Six, 6-6? Six. Six, six? I want to say a tie. Okay. So you got some faith in that New Jersey is going to bring the heat as well as Saints Gaming. So I'm excited to see it. I'm going to call... I'm going to call 7-5 for Saints. 7-5 Saints uh, for them to win. So I, I just saw a thumbs up in the back that uh, all the players are just getting into the lobby. They're all ready to hop in. So we're just going to wait a little bit and, uh, and we're going to be hopping in to the lobby. Yeah, I just got the go ahead. So we're going to be hopping on into the lobby, everyone. Yeah, a New Jersey Institute of Technology up against St. Clair College. And we, uh, in a second, we're going to be able to introduce those teams. But first, we're going to start with the ban phase. Orange team, that's going to be St. Clair banning first. And we expect to uh, to see probably the normal uh, bans on, uh, on Border X. Maybe like a hard breach you want to get out of here. Yeah, you know, hard breach is a really good ban on this map. And there's your, you know, normal Thatcher where... You know, he gets rid of those evil eye or opens evil eyes so you can get rid of them. He destroys goo mines, ADSs, new jammers, literally anything and everything in its path. And so he's a really good ban just to stop, you know, uh, any hard reach that is trying to hard reach support that is trying to be uh, put into play here. So going on to the second attacker to or band is going to be Montane. Montane, that's a little bit of a weirder kind of ban. You don't usually see Montane picked too much especially on a map like border maybe if you're pushing the uh, the top armory you you'd want to possibly have a montane to just get yourself in there but not a usual uh, operator that you see picked you've seen mira now getting banned out by the new jersey institute of technology on defense let's take a look and uh, and see what st Clair wants to ban i expect it to be an echo as usually you see the the mira echo kind of get banned i'm gonna say about Ten thousand dollars on Echo. Ten thousand dollars on Echo. <laughs> Somebody get your wallet ready for this guy right here. He's got ten thousand on Echo. Time ticking down, and it's gonna be Echo. Look at that. Well, 
I should I should go gamble tonight. Yeah, you should go gambling. Maybe maybe we want to go out after this uh, after this cast. But that's the end of the ban phase, and we're gonna be hopping into border shortly. So that Montane pick, you know, I actually saw Pangu playing Montane today, uh, and everybody was shocked. Pangu is one of the best Montane players. Oh, really? Because yeah. Pangu picked Montane, and they got beat with a flawless yeah. round. Fnatic got a flawless round. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, he needs a team around him because Montane can't really do it all himself. Yeah. But, you know, he's he's a really good Montane player. But, you know, that Montane ban, there is a quick plant on this map for, oh, for uh, archives. Oh, okay. And so you just walk in through East Door and basically smoke, plant real quick and have a glass sit like years away and you just snipe the hands that are trying to defuse the bomb. So Yeah, and so we're going to introduce these teams right here over on the New Jersey Institute of Technology. We have Meep not even trying to... Uh, <laughs> oh, so well, the tab? game didn't like that. Yeah, give me the tab. <laughs> We're gonna hit, hit tab in a second. Yo, yeah, there we go. We got Meep, not even trying. War Hazard, Universe, and JA. Over on St. Clair College, we have Agent Tour, Rapid, William, Impact, and Imagine. And I, I remember it was Agent Tour who was going nuts last week. That, that was the that was the rookie that I kind of that kind of stood out to me. Yeah, you know, they all pulled their weight. You know, some people do stand out more than others, but um, everybody kind of just. Pulled their, pulled their own weight and, you know, got the, I believe it was 7-2, victories uh, for both maps. But um, the only map that is repeating this week will be, obviously, Border. Yes. And it was, um, the first map was Cafe. And I remember Rapid had quite the match. He was like 15-4 and four or something yeah. on Cafe. He had an insane first game. So let's see if we can get a repeat in game one today. New Jersey Institute of Technology versus St. Clair College. We're hopping on board with Universe now as he's playing the Buck and looking to push this west side uh, west side of the building. And as you can see, they have the Buck and Sophia probably to go underneath to get those bandits or even um, Cades off. But as you can see, St. Clair's not running any wall denial. So Thermite's going to have a free you know, open wall, but I feel like they ran a strat last week where the uh, the wall was open with the little Meister cam peeking out. But I don't know if they're running that strat again or if they're running a different strat. So we'll see here in a minute. Well, Thermite just sets up his drone and uh, CCTV, uh, just waiting for any intel. And there it is. And that wall is not reinforced, obviously, for that Meister cam. And that Meister cam is giving so much intel. So now it's going to slow down the push from the Thermite. And once again, I forgot to mention this at the start, but St. Clair will be holding that second floor archives room and armory. So they're going to be holding that. And they're going to be running Doc, Smoke, Legion, Jaeger, and Maestro. If you're new to Rainbow Six, you're, it's a five on five team, team game where you have to push as an attacking team, plant a diffuser, let that diffuser take down or finish all the kills, uh, eliminate all the enemy team. Well, that was going down. Not even trying, getting the first blood in this, taking out Impact as Nomad. And Nomad sitting on this window is so strong because she just places her air jabs on the vents run out to her left and the, um, uh, sorry, the AC run out to her left and the vents run out to her uh, bottom right. And anything that runs out will get air jabbed and is deemed basically a kill. And as you can see, Thermite opening up the wall here on Wolf. It pushes just in sight before the wall is even open. And there's an impact trade. I want to say that's a little bit of miscommunication, but Meep actually getting the kill onto Rapid. That's a 5v3 now. Diffuser being planted by Warhazard. Meep getting a double kill, taking the head off of William. So Diffuser's planted. Imagine refragging over on JA. And he's going to be going on the flank. Agent Tour sitting in archives with the SMG 11 smoke combo. And now we see him just slowly pushing into the point. There are three spread out inside armory. Imagine on the flank gets picked off by Warhazard. Now we see Agent Tour getting shot from that player in the window that's not even trying as the Nomad, getting the double kill for himself. And that's going to be round one to New Jersey Institute of Technology. I just want to point out, I noticed that Smoke still had three gas canisters. So I don't know if he didn't know if the plant was going down or if there's just a little bit of miscommunication or he just couldn't get the smokes out. But... He did have those three left. I wanted to say there's a little bit of a miscommunication on both sides. For example, like War Hazard putting on the thermite charge when uh, Meep as Twitch already inside the site. I actually thought he was gonna get the the uh, thermite charge off and do a little bit of damage to Meep, but Meep, I, I want to. Maybe it was a little bit of a bait to get him in there, and then the, you hear the thermite going off, and he peeks in, takes out Rapid, and that's a operator down. Yeah, uh, Rapid, I believe, went for the bandit trick on that wall. 
There was no bandit. Or sorry, not bandit. Impact trick. Oh, Thank okay, you. yeah. Yeah, impact trick with the maestro. He threw an impact at the wall and it got the the thermite charge off. Okay. And then Twitch just kind of peeked and saw him as he was throwing the impact, so he was left in a vulnerable situation there. Yeah, so New Jersey taking round Again, one. St. Clair looking to bounce back. And you know, we do see a change up. Rapid going to be playing Cade this round. All the other uh, operators going to be the same on each character, including uh, New Jersey side. They're all running the same operators as well. But that Cade, you know, they didn't have, like you said before, they didn't have any kind of wall denial. So uh, they were able to get uh, the Thermite off really easily. But this time we're going to see Rapid putting his... Uh, his K charges in the, the positions to electrify that the certain wall over onto the west side entry. You were pointing out last week that uh, the K is able to put the K charge above that vent, and it's in, like you, the IQ can't get in there and yeah. uh, destroy it. Yeah, and basically it is so hard to hit. Like it, you have to be like precise on a pixel when you throw it. And so sometimes you, you might miss it and not be able to get the, the charge off. And that's a risk you have to be willing to take sometimes. But sometimes people just throw the cage charge a little bit to the right. And it's still hard for the Twitch to hit it. But eventually with enough work, you can get it. Yeah. But the one on the right wall, you just throw it above the cabinet. And you can't get that one either. Oh, 100%. So the right wall will always be bandit, bandit, uh, bandited, or sorry, cated um, until uh, Twitch or someone goes below like a buck where you can actually see it through the floor. Okay, okay, so now the attack phase is underway and we're going to see J.A. droning out into a server room. All the drones for New Jersey getting so much information as where St. Clair is going to be holding this. We see a nice little 2-2 hold in the top of uh, for St. Clair and pretty sure uh, there is one player that's Imagine roaming around in the in the basement. Yeah, that is Imagine going to be roaming. So now we're hopping on board with not even trying as he's holding that similar angle with the uh, with the nomad this time upside down trying to find that first blood yeah upside down repel is very very broken in this game um you can only see the top of the head and impact going down to you first frag and that's the roam clear coming out and i don't think they know that dagger imagine is sitting inside and gonna rotate out this could be bad time holding angles here and nope, not going to be able to get the frag and just going to buck out the floor. I don't think he saw I don't think he saw Rapid through the wall but it doesn't matter because Meep is going to get in there and take the frag onto Rapid and now they're going to be pushing in trying to get the diffuser down. Imagine getting dropped. Meep getting a double kill onto Agent Tour and now we see the revive come up and one player left that's Will with the Maestro trying to get the 1v5. Meep gonna finish up with a triple kill. Flawless round for New Jersey as they take a second round and go up 2-0 in this matchup. Yeah, and so, you know, uh, New Jersey looking very, very, very strong on their attacks. Nowhere to go, nowhere to push. Their callouts, it looks like Bucks is underneath and it, he, he sees a little, little pixel of a, uh, a character and tells his teammate, hey, this is where he's running to. His teammate wide swings, gets the kill, and it's just it looks like amazing communication on the side of New Jersey. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's all on the back of that player, Meep. If we can see the scoreboard in a second, we'll be able to tell who who's leading on the side of New Jersey. But Meep really getting those entry frags. He had a triple kill last round and a double kill in the first round, so I think he, he's up to 5-0 and right now. But New Jersey really bringing the heat to St. Clair right off the bat. And they're going to go back to second floor armory and archives for the third time in a row. You know, sometimes they say third time's a charm. Third time's and, uh, a charm. And if St. Clair wants, they can uh, they can see that right. They can try that right now. So, yeah, confirming right here. Meep 5-0 and o, doing so well on St. Clair. And against St. Clair. And St. Clair only having one kill across all five players right now. Yeah, you know, St. Clair looks like they're going off to a cold start, but things can always rotate around. And, you know, it can, you know, if if um, New Jersey gets up 5-0, St. Clair can come back and win 5. That's one thing I really like about uh, about Rainbow Six. It's a really uh, kind of hot, cold game. It's a, You can have a cold start, but heat up as it goes on, and it's it's very streaky. That's what I what I like about this game is it's not like... Okay, we're just gonna steamroll. Sometimes it looks like a steamroll, and the other team just pulls all the strats out of nowhere and retakes. Yeah, and you know, EP on the Twitch, it's 
kind of just the F2 is so so good, and you know they lowered her bullet count, but it's it doesn't still, really matter. Yeah, the the fast fire rate it's just it's still a really really good gun. So um, with that, the gun in the hands of MP, obviously five and right now, is really really good. Yeah, and here we go. Similar approach to this bomb site that uh, New Jersey is taking. As we see, Warhazard gonna be setting up right on balcony, right outside the west side walls. He's gonna flash on in. And he's just gonna wait for Meep to get in there and destroy uh, destroy with the Twitch drones, the, the, the bandit charge, or the sorry, the cave charges. And now not even trying, returning to that east or south side window. And yeah, looking for something just like the other time. As you said, this was a, this is like a broken angle. So yeah. Sitting upside down on that window. Universe hanging off the drone for a teammate to pick it up. And I know uh, you've mentioned it's very, very hard to watch some people on upside down repel because it's just like very, very disorienting. But for me, it's just I'm, I'm always used to being upside down because that's my spot. But, you know, two frags coming out here by... Three, three frags, frags coming out here, and just slowly, uh, sorry, four frags. Meep with a double kill. Meep going and off right now. Slowly, Saint Clair just being picked apart once again in a one v five. William as the maestro looking for some picks, going for one, finds the head of Meep. So Meep finally being taken down. Looks for the second one, doesn't connect with the head. So third round once again going in. Favor of New Jersey Institute, and they're having a little fun on the ground there. Yeah, place the breaching charge, a little BM, but it's all right to have fun sometimes. Would it really be Rainbow Six without BM though? Not really. No, not really. This is this. That's just how you play the game. I'm surprised I haven't seen any good nights or good mornings. Yeah, or sleep tight. I don't think I've seen a good night worthy shot though. That's true. Uh, That's true. Imagine did switch to the Mozzie for a second, but return to a uh, Jaeger. And Castle coming out for William instead of the Maestros. They're going to be holding first floor ventilation and workshop. Smoke going on with rapid lesion for Agent Turner. And, you know, it, impact going uh, going with the Cade. So switching up, we got we had Agent Tour on uh, the smoke. But now Rapid is returning to his uh, kind of roots. Grabbing that smoke operator and giving Cade to Impact. So hopefully this change of operators can kind of boost St. Clair up. To a three to one deficit, not even trying is going to take out the Jackal JA with the Sledge War Hazard with the Hibana instead of the Thermite. There's a little bit of a, a difference here. Maybe it's the it's the certain site that they're pushing. Yeah, for ventilation, you're pushing more of like a hatch. So you're you're basically running the Habana just to open up the hatches. Um, sometimes you run thermite and Habana double hard breach just to open up the armory wall because sometimes armory wall will be played. As you see, smoke here, rapid is going to be reinforcing armory wall, and so sometimes you'll run the thermite just to open up that wall, but. Uh, New Jersey just thinking, you know, we don't really need it right now, so we'll just run the ball. Yeah, and uh, one thing we uh, really look at is Meep, 7 and 1 right now. I did get taken out by William at the end there, but it was the heroic efforts of uh, William not able to bring it back. St. Clair really setting up for the second floor hold, the top down hold. And I, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, Warhazard and crew are going to be setting up in the same push as as if they were pushing that uh, second floor armory and archives just so that they can clear those players holding up top because if you can gain top control on this bomb site it's basically game over yeah you know and top floor control is so amazing especially uh with the sledge because there's so much soft struggle that you can do on the floor and just missing that drone i was thinking about that today you know i was watching some pro league and i was i'm just waiting for like that one pro to miss a drone and get memed on reddit just, you know, it's something that you should be professional <laughs> yeah. at. You just don't know how it, to do. It's just something that you you never think about. But it, it, it's probably something I, I just can't wait to see. And, uh, you know, St. Clair really setting up for this top control as we see three roaming up top, two holding the downstairs. Actually, no, they rotated one down. So it's two upstairs and one or three downstairs. And not even trying with his crew. Taking out the walls, moving in here. And he does find some feet to analyze. He does get eyes on Castle. Castle's going to be on the first floor. I think that's a little bit of a good thing for St. Clair for the, to ping the Castle of all. 
but they do have sights on Imagine. Imagine taking a little bit of damage, does get out. Impact going down to Meef. So 5v4 on site. We do see William getting a kill. Imagine getting a kill, but gets traded out by Universe. It's a three on three, but one player that's rapid is down right now. Not able to bring himself up. Nobody's there to help him. So JA, very low on health. It looks like Rapid's gonna crawl the hatch and drop. Might be able to actually get picked up here. That would be big brain indeed. He does get dropped down and he's gonna be healed by his teammate. So Rapid with a little bit of a big brain, 200 IQ play, does rotate around William going down to Universe. Does look to get picked by Rapid, but Rapid's gonna get taken down by Universe. So 1v3, this is the closest match we've had. Agents who are not able to clutch up, going down to not even trying, and that's round four to New Jersey. Yeah, and you know, it is hard once you start losing manpower upstairs to hold your sights and hold, you know, your angles on site because there's so much soft destruction going on above you. You have to worry about so many different angles and, you know, losing top floor control so quickly is, is so hard. And, you know, I, I see I used to see you sitting here analyzing how St. Clair is holding this. Any Do, do you want to see them change up any anything, like any little tiny uh, fix-ups you want to see? Um, you know, more or less, it's just... You gotta win your gunfights, um, but it's uh, basically it. I mean, if you win your gunfights, they won't push as hard. I noticed that New Jersey kind of noticed that you know we're winning more of the gunfights, so we're gonna be more aggressive. We're gonna push as hard as we can because we can win those gunfights. And you know, if if St. Clair won them, maybe it'll slow down the pace of the uh, New Jersey push. Yeah, and uh, we're going to see New Jersey yeah, switch up to the IQ. So after that can. analysis, that was a one, wonderful analysis, Hyper. Amazing. Once again, 8-2 and two is Meep. But we're going to see the switch up on Universe. Instead of playing the Buck, he's going to be playing the IQ, which is a, a little bit different. But I, I, I like the IQ pick, especially uh, especially with the Cade on Impact. Yeah, you know, and New, <clears throat> sorry, New Jersey noticing that, you know, St. Clair's running the Cade and running Legion and all that. So they picked up the IQ just to give it some some extra, hey, you know, there's there's a Legion mine here, don't walk here, or there's a K charge here, don't walk or don't breach this fight, that kind of stuff. So IQs is a very, very good op to have. Just to give intel on gadgets and stuff like that. Yeah, so attacking phase is on. We're gonna hop on board with Warhazard right away, taking out the camera, and they're gonna go for another Probably top-down push once again, especially with this IQ. Actually, no, they're probably going to run the IQ with the sledge all through the basement because they don't have to worry about the lesions as much now. So they're going to be clearing the bottom floor as fast as they can. Yeah, it looks like they're going on for a rush here. Yeah, it looks like they're not going to worry about the top floor. It looks like they're just going to go right on the site and try and get their... William taking out, not even trying. JA oh. taking out Agent 2A. JA also taking out Impact. And they are on site, holding site control. Now it is all up to Rapid Imagine and Will. Will being at the back of site, getting a pick onto JA. as And ooh, getting down by Warhazard. And now site control is, stays. And Rapid getting a pick on Meep. So it is just back and forth. And Imagine dropping down, picking up Warhazard. It is a one v2 situation for st Clair, wrap it above with a smoke and iq hitting a lesion mine so that will give the intel out to Jer new jersey yeah and now stepping on the the lesion mine he does give his position away he's gonna drone out the site but 1v2 and rapid and imagine staying real close to each other they want to trade this out they won't don't want to get too greedy with this one on one fight here we go, Universe pushing in. Does have sights onto Rapid, not connecting with any shots. Imagine still sitting up on top of the servers. Rapid just slowly staying in there. Does have a little bit of a pixel, pixel on his back. Universe not getting any damage. Rapid staying full health this whole time. Smokes out. And here we go, Universe pushing up. Imagine there to trade him out. And St. Clair taking their first round in this match. That's going to be round five to St. Clair. One to four. So really like that play from Imagine dropping down in the server and kind of catching that player from behind. But I want to, I want to kind of point on one thing that was kind of like caught me off guard. Agent Tour focusing on that draw a little bit too hard letting ja push into the site shoot him in the back yeah and you know a lot of good teams like that they'll use drones to distract because if you look at a drone to shoot the drone and someone's peeking at the same time you have to have that reaction time to flick back up and if you don't have that reaction time you know you'll die so it was a good good uh good idea for new jersey to do that at the same time a little bit too much tunnel vision but 
we got the uh the refrags that they needed and you know um I'm good on imagine to notice that hey there's a guy in sight i know where he's shooting from i'm watching his tracers i'm gonna kill him and i'm gonna play a little bit slower now that i have the man advantage he sits there and waits then rapid drops down and sits in a corner not being able to get hit just holding his corner letting imagine rotating around to get his crossfire and once one dies the other one gets to refrag yeah Defenders let's take a look at the uh the operator picks this round a little bit weird to see a nook Kind of, kind of weirded me out. I, I was not expecting that at all. War Hazard switching back to the Thermite for this round. William going to be playing the Cade this time. Rapid on the Maestro. Agent Tour back on the Smoke. And I, I honestly, if I want to see St. Clair switch anything up for this round, I, I do want to see uh, Agent Tour not hold on to the Smokes as long as he was this time. And uh, hopefully the switch between uh, Maestro and Cade, between Rapid and William, gonna make a little bit of a difference between the the St. Clair team but uh, if that nook can kind of linger around on the second floor avoid any cameras as much as he can I think that could be a actually a sneaky play that St. Clair might not be ready for yeah usually you know you run you run a nook or nook to rush site get as many kills as she can or even just a slow kind of push from behind while everybody else rushes one side and it looks like that's gonna be AFK Oh, that spawn, but that could have just been, you know, fixing some. Oh, not even trying picking up Imagine on Metal Stairs. That's a huge first pick, taking out Imagine right away. Not even trying, gonna be continuing this brigade of a rush, going all the way over to East Side Staircase and pushing up, trying to get into the second floor, avoid as many as he can. And here we go, the Nook using their ability before they even get into the uh, into the sites or into the building, but. Not even trying, going to be droning out over into the office's area, trying to find if anybody is hiding in any unnecessary corners. Meep sitting over towards the usual spot outside on balcony. And it's usually Meep who does push in and get a couple kills. So here we go, Meep going to be pushing in with the F2. Gets the head of William. What a peak. And I don't think uh, William saw the drone peek in there through the through the barbed wire. I, I think he did, but I didn't. I don't think he expected the, the push from the Twitch. But... You know, as you can see, Impact just rotating back behind half wall. Agent 2A is going to be picked up by not even trying. Twitch is going to hold this angle on Doc, see if he can get a pick, and gets the pick on Impact. Rapid with the Alda, the 81 bullets, getting one kill in Universe, free fragging. Yeah, Universe with a nice pickup onto Rapid for the final kill. Here we go, we're going to check it out. It does just sit for the trade. What a play by Nook. 5-1 to one for New Jersey. They switch sides now. Yep. And you know, maybe St. Clair on the attack is going to bring a little bit of a different uh, heat to this game. Maybe spice it up and bring some uh, surprise strats. William going to be hopping on the Thermite. Buck to imagine impact on that Ash. Agent 2A on IQ. Nomad being played by Rapid. And looking at the defensive lineup. Are we going to see Ella finally? Maybe? No. No, no we're not going to see Ella. You know, it, it, everybody... Uh, Everybody thinking that uh, Ella is broken, but nobody wants to play Ella. Ella, you know, in, in competitive play is very situ- Oh, wait. Oh, oh. oh. We spoke too soon. We spoke way too soon. So Ella going to be six picked over onto the uh, other team. Bandit, Mozzie, Jaeger, and Valkyrie. So St. Clair looking to start their comeback here. They don't want to fall too behind, make it map point. But look at Meep's stat line. 10, 6, and 3. That's just a nuts uh, scoreline, especially with the 6 assists on top of 10 kills. And, and <clears throat> back to what I was saying about Ella. You know, every op is situational, but Ella is more one of those ops that you want just for if someone trying to do rushes all the time or you just want intel on a certain spot uh, just uh, like her concussion mine you know it goes off it's a loud little pop so you know what direction a uh, general direction you know they're attacking from and now her gun with the buff is a little bit better it's a lot actually sorry it's a lot better than it was so you can hit your shots even if you don't know how to aim. you kind of just spray them all right as, as long as you can go for those uh, those headshots and land those headshots, you'll be finding something. But here we go. We're going to hop on with St. Clair as they start on the south side, pushing in. And I think that's Valkyrie over on the east side staircase being a little bit cheeky with the positioning, trying to catch somebody off. Are yeah. we going to maybe see a run out? 
probably not this late in the round, but she could be holding a really, really weird angle on the stairs where you can see underneath the door. So if someone goes to break the door, you can refire the door and try and get a kill. Because on each stairs, when you're breaking that door, there's not really where, anywhere to run except backward. Oh. And there's a cheeky run out by the mozzie. And there's not going to be anyone there to refresh. And imagine she's just going to wait for this Valkyrie to rotate down the stairs. But she rotates back into offices. Agent 2A doesn't spot out the mozzie. As well as, I believe there's a um, Jagger down there. Yeah, I think it's this. Or two. Ella. Ella. Oh, that's Ella in there. That's a dangerous angle to peek. But if Agent 2A can come out with this double kill, that would be nuts. I'm curious. That mozzie ran out. I thought uh, Rapid put the Nomad charge above that window he, he jumped out of a window that rapid was peeking or going to peek actually so there was no necessary point to put a nomad charge there so great play by mozzie and not even trying picking up a kill on impact william refragging and vision 2a looking to get that kill on that mozzie but jaa gonna come out on top in that duel now we're gonna hop on board with william so it's imagine and william against the four players on New Jersey, imagine not able to win that fight. Universe gonna be taking him out. Meep finishing it up. Round seven going to New Jersey, and they're hitting map point early in this game. They're looking to take it in dominant fashion. There we go. We saw the final kill cam was Meep as on that Valkyrie. Round eight, St. Clair. Are you gonna come back anytime? It's gonna be now. Yeah, you know, they need these points. Uh, they need these round wins to even just make a tie because, um, as some of you may know, this the CEA League doesn't actually go into overtime, so the game does end at 6-6 if there was a tie. Hey, you called 6-6. So, could be 6-6. If, if there is any time to prove hyper right, it's going to be right now, St. Clair. In the next five rounds. In the next five rounds. Well, yeah. I mean, like, but they got to start right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got to they they swap the, the momentum and put it in their hands. And... You know, on attack, it's one of those things that you, it's a hit or miss. I, I, personally, I love attacking border because there's so many things that you can do. But, you know, if you have a really, really, and the frost. That's a weird trap. I mean, like, honestly, if I had to say anything right now, New Jersey's feeling themselves. Yeah. They, especially with that run out play on the Mozzie. They're just feeling themselves having, having a blast. Eight kills for not even trying. Seven for Universe. Eleven for Meep. Those three players are just doing so much for New Jersey. And over on St. Clair, William with five. And he's leading his uh, his team with uh, the kills over there. But St. Clair needs a little bit more than... Uh, I don't want to say a little bit more than kills because they do need kills. But they need a little bit more, more than that to just win the rounds. Yeah. Need to start taking the the right fights because I, I honestly think that St. Clair is just dying unnecessarily alone. Yes. yes. There's nobody there to trade out. There's nobody there to. Uh, and I, they seem disoriented. Yeah. In a, in a way. Yeah, and you know that frost placement, the frost map placement behind the shield, it was off to the right in the corner because when you vault the shield, you look straight down instead of looking to your right or left. So when you vault over, it's going to be harder for you to destroy that frost mat and there's a bigger Don't potential for you to hit so great placements by frost i know this is really off topic but you ever see that episode of the office when they were like parkour, parkour. yes yeah whenever i see Some the memes. drone jumping around that's what I, <laughs> that's what comes into my head the, so yeah that's what i was that's what came to my brain right there when i saw imagine going through there but universe Gonna be taken out Imagine with the shotgun, not even using the SMG, but Rapid going down and not even trying 5v3. So now it's all left to the rookies of St. Clair to bring this back, six to one. So three of them have to work together to take this out. Ash using the G36. Uh, you don't usually ever see a Nash player using this weapon, but they're gonna be taking that duel against the player inside of server security room. And Agent 2 are going to be looking to drone that out. Impact going down to War Hazard. What a shot with the SMG-11. All down to Agent 2A and William. They're going to be pushed into the site. William getting one. Agent 2A getting a double or a kill with them. Getting a double kill on a not even trying 2v2. St. Clair trying to bring this back. William making a 1v2. Looking to clutch this round up. JA the last player standing. The Mozzie holding inside customs. 
and he's just going to be rotating around, holding this angle, not getting too aggressive. Agent 2A at half health, William at full health. A minute 15 left, so they do have a little bit of time to work with. The two of them just going to be sticking together, trying to trade out this kill if they see it. They're a little bit separated. And there we go. JA getting some shots down. Agent 2A super low. And he goes to pre-fire an angle. Not connecting with any shots though. As William is going to be getting that thermite charge out. But gets picked and he does get the headshot. What? A double kill from JA. The spray transfer on the headshot. That was nasty. Wow. The, the micro flicks. He must, have, he must have played some Kovacs or aim loves for this game. What a double kill. That was insane. Yeah, I, you know, just like that, it can go from a 5v2 to a 2v1 to a 1vo. That, honestly, that was disgusting. That shot was, that I've never seen somebody in Rainbow spray transfer that clean. I, I've always wanted to say this. You're going to see that in the sports not highlight reel. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see that on, on TSN. <laughs> but no, St. Clair losing out 7-1 to one on border. The next map will be Clubhouse. We're going to head to a quick break, though. Stay tuned for Game 2 of CEA Week 2. Week two.